love right. the grind. I, I wish I had more of the grind. I wish I was more freaking busy. I wish I was on, I wish I was on the road every freaking day and didn't know where I was. I don't get enough of the grind, which is what is frustrating to me. I, I love the grind. So bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Ghost Cult Magazine welcomes in bona fide metal legend, Leather Leone. How are you doing today? I'm doing amazing. As I was just telling you, I'm so happy to be part of your interviews that you do because I watch you on Instagram all the time and I always wanted to be part of Ghost Cult. So thank you very much. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Well, we're huge fans and we've been waiting for this record for quite a while, as have you, as has the world. And, you know, it's first and foremost, yeah, it's been a wild couple of years in the world and everybody's very fatigued about talking about everything but you know you've been at the same time while you've been working on this music in the background you have been you know part of the the mainstream of the music media stream you are on social media you're interacting i see you dropping comments in other people's feeds and pages and posts and yes. you know, that's what that's the advice that I give to bands starting out. So the fact that you, again, a legend of multiple decades in heavy metal and thrash metal, are you're, still for, doing you're, the you're, thing. you're so sweet, dude. The word legend is thrown around way too. I know. Much. Well, legend I, is for Dio for Dickinson. I, I, I think well, that's really important. I think it's important to show support yeah. because you know the eighties are really different. But right now, I, I think that people sometimes are such tunnel vision, and it doesn't seem like we support each other, especially women. Oh my God, I'm, this is so hard to do. I want to support and and shout out to anyone who does it. I think everyone's fucking amazing. So I really That's try great. to do that. I try to do that. That's great. I I'll tell you the word that I try not to throw around too much is iconic because I think that's a word that's a little more rarefied and should be selectively used. Okay. But okay. legend, I think if you have the career you've had on records that people cite and love, I've interviewed other artists who were like, oh, you know, I saw Leather Leone. I interviewed Lee Aaron last year. And she, really? so she met, yeah, like, like she name dropped like Doro. She's like, when I started out, there wasn't that many people singing in heavy metal bands. It was a small group. So she rattled yeah. off a few and like, you'd wow. be surprised. You'd be cool. surprised. Very a lot, cool. A lot metal of people. queen. <laughs> Oh, I love Lee. And she has a new record coming out too. Uh, she does. She does. So, People are speaking very highly of it. Yes. Yeah. She's so great. And, um, and again, as are you, I'm so thrilled to talk to you. It's been this record. We are the chosen coming out on November 25th on SPV steam hammer. I'm not sure if the record label is still using both names or one or the other, but that label is, you know, a lot of currency. Usually anything that comes out on that brand is a great record. It's almost always a great record. And you've been working on this before the before times. So just catch us up really quick on sort of the genesis. You started working on this record before, like before 2020. And, yes, and here we uh, are. I lost a tour. I lost a tour in the summer of 2019. And everything was kind of chaotic in my home musical background changed and it was just oh it was crazy so i had met vinnie tex he had become part of my touring band i've known him since 2016 and one of the beauties of him was that he didn't know much about chastain so it was really kind of this really organic thing and he stuck by me and he and i said hey i want to try to keep going and write a record he said okay and then covid hit right uh spring of 2020 so like everyone else what did we have to do you know, he lives in Brazil. I live here. So the iPad that I'm speaking to you on is how we wrote. And I don't know, it just really worked out. I am not patient. And as you can see, I just, so I had no choice but to relax and let songs breathe. So yeah, I started writing this in the fall of 2019. Right on. Uh, yeah. I mean, Vinny's incredible, by the way, and the performance yes! on this record, not just from you, but the whole production and Vinny's guitar stuff is mind-blowingly great. And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. Anybody who hears this, their the hairs are going to stand up on your arm. It's nuts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, much he, he worked really hard on that. So much inspiring material. I think it's really important, you know, since you, you know, you, you know, people know your backstory, you had been on a long hiatus, came back and I, and, you know, people were waiting for Chastain to come back. But I think it's important that you also have your solo material and your other projects, because I think it allows you to kind of also still have your stamp on the metal look chastain is not coming back um, right. he i think he did those two records in 2013 and 2015 just to help me out because okay. we talk all the time and he feels my frustration 
about nothing going on. It never hurts to do a Chastain record. And like, we have a joke every 20 years he pops up, every 10 years he pops up and goes, hey, I have this material. Um, I just want to play live, he does not. So I really think in the back of his mind, it was to help me out, which it did. Um, Chastain is a recording project. I want to do a lot more than that. And I was blessed because a promoter actually called Chastain in 2014 to go to Brazil. He's like, I'm not touring. Hence, he hooked me up with them. And that's how this all happened for me. That's fine. And, you know, I, I also think the longer you're in this business, just it's a it's a huge grind. Right. So the just the game of the business is taxing for everybody. And, you know, all due respect to David, you know, like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nothing to you know, prove. I, nothing I, left I to prove in the world. I love right? the grind. I, I wish I had more of the grind. I wish I was more freaking busy. I wish I was, on, I wish I was on the road every freaking day. didn't know where I was. I don't get enough of the grind, which is what is frustrating to me. You know, I'm trying to get on the festival circuit. Anyway, I, I love the grind. So bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. Nice. And I like think. It reminds me of Doro. She also is. Like, oh, Doro! I, I'm so my buddy. I freaking she's love so Doro. good. She's I so did that. I did her. Uh, I, I met her in New York for 2014. That was her 30th. I don't know whatever. And we did a couple songs together. Mm -hmm. And I was just watching her backstage, going, "Mother of God, you're working your ass off." She said, "Leather, I've done it for 30 years." God bless you. You yes. know, I wish I wish I had that opportunity. So bring on the grind. I don't, I don't even have the I work. I work better under pressure. Um, I love it. I love it. No. That's great to hear. I wish I had the energy of Doro. I don't even, I can't comprehend that she put out like so much stuff in the last couple of years, started her own label, puts out perfumes and, and colognes. Like, yeah, she's, she's a, a lucky woman. woman. <laughs> yeah, she's a lucky woman. She has a lot of opportunities and she seizes them properly. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Nice. We're all still kind of coming back. You mentioned it earlier, like the, uh, the touring circuit, the release cycles are pushed back, the production yeah. of albums. And, and vinyl is backed up at factories all around the world and stuff. So we're just all kind of, we're still un, unfurling this whole thing. We don't know really the yes. end. We won't know the end result of everything that's happened till like, much later. Yeah, like I, I know the promoters and all the insurance promoters. I mean, they were trying to make up so much stuff just to save their asses. And, you know, it's funny. You talk about the time because, yeah, the record was done in December and then I waited, Jesus, so that's like a year. But SPV was actually kind of interested in leather too. But the whole thing was, oh, that they wanted six months to put it out. So we kind of, did. stupid. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes now. I hear you. It's, it is what it is. I'm glad this record is coming and it's here. And I'm so yes. thrilled. And we got a bunch of lyric videos. And I love the behind the scenes little video that you put out of you behind the console singing yes. along. It was so fun. And uh, you could see like the dedication of, of Vinny and others like working on the record. It was a nice little. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really proud of this because I didn't know actually if I could write songs. I can remember talking to Vinny going, I don't know. Can I write 10 songs with you? Because Chastain basically was the ringleader. Here you go. Kind of do what you want. But I'm still reined in. And he is not a metalhead. He's very eclectic. The Brazilians kind of listen to 80s, like radio rock. He's really into melody. And oh my God, I was down there recently shooting a video and it was like Vixen and Kiss and Hardline. And it's like, I just want to go home and listen to Lamb of God, you know? Um, so yeah, we really had a great time. And, you know, coming out of COVID like anyone else, it was like, yeah, we did it. So we were very excited. We are very excited. Yeah, of course. That's amazing. As you should be. This 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 thing slaps. As the kids say, I find myself quoting the younger generation, but yeah, <laughs> good it's, for you. It's such a good, you know, like I think the 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 number one thing that stood out to me, I listened to this record on repeat for a while and I was like, man, this is just such powerful, epic stuff. It's, you know, there's no real there's there's some dynamic changes, but there's really no let up. It's like one great song after another. It's very strong. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, we'll get into the tracks in a second, but I, you know, also obviously you mentioned it's a cluster bomb next summer, next spring. But you know, I, obviously the goal is hopefully to tour. You want to get back to playing? Not music. hopefully. The goal is to tour. That's nice. my mantra. Every hour, every morning, I'm going to tour. And sometimes people look at me differently without David Chastain. This is a good record. Record. I am fucking worthy. It's good enough. I'm going to tour. I'm going to tour. I'm working on it every day. I'm going to oh, get yeah. out there. It's the oh, only, yeah. I, that's the only, that's the only thing I can kind of do, do. It's the only time I feel normal on stage. I will get there. I will get there. Nice. We all want to find our normal, happy place. Mine, yes. is, at a sh mine is in the crowd at a show. Yours is on the stage. I hope you yes, get to yell, in, yell into 
a, yes. a microphone at your fans. That would be amazing. And yeah, that's where you belong. I, I definitely, you know, you, you, there's no question about worthy. Don't, you know, don't, don't <laughs> let you. anybody tell you otherwise. Like that's, I that's don't, a, I don't any longer, word. believe me. Haha. <laughs> I hear you. You know, it's, it's tough out there. We all suffer a crisis of confidence and the world, I like to say, will kick you every chance it can. Don't help it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, not sorry. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And same, same. I, I tell everybody like a music website outside of the big corporate ones is no different than a band. We're like a, D, uh, we run this like a DIY band. It's all guerrilla marketing. It's all hustle. Yeah. It's all, all the time. Absolutely. It'll, it'll yeah, and I, think, I think there's a real pleasure to that. There's a real sense of achievement to that. I've always been an underdog and I really actually, that's kind of where leather two came from. Everyone thought it was like, Oh, it's your second solo record. No, it was kind of, I've always been the underdog and I'm really comfortable of being number two because you can only go up. It was kind of my whole thing, you know, <laughs> nothing wrong with silver. It's almost gold. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's right. That's right. That's right. Indeed. So yeah, let, let's, I thought we would, you know, take, take a look at We Are The Chosen track by track, whatever you feel like sharing, we'd be sure. grateful to hear it. I'll run down, I'll uh, list the tracks for you and you can, you know, freestyle at that point. Okay. Uh, obviously the record kicks off with the awesome We Take Back Control. That was the first song that Vinny and I wrote. And that was when I said, okay, we got this. And it's the whole theme of the record for me. Again, yeah, I've been around a long time and I have never taken my own shit seriously. I was assumed that everyone on my team, everyone around me had my best interest at heart. You know, they it's not that they didn't, I'm not ungrateful, but if you want something done right, you have to do it yourself. So this is my whole thing. At this point in my life, I'm a little late to the game. I figured it out. I'm taking back control. I'm the boss. Better late than never. I love it. And I relate completely as a, as a, <laughs> a low key control freak, probably not low key. Uh, Always been evil. The fantastic number two track. I love that title and that song. That's, you know, that's kind of the typical, I always think of Ronnie when you talk about these things, we we're raised Catholic, the dichotomy of good and evil. And it was just, I, I, I kind of, um, how do I say, I, I, I'm interested in the occult and witchcraft and medieval magic kind of stuff. And um, it, it's good and evil. I have always been interested in checking out the dark side. So kind of when someone says that to me, it's always been evil. It's always been right here. And I always go to you. That's all it means. I'm always right checking you out. Always checking you out. Yeah. Right on. I got my eye on you. The album cover, by the way, has major Dio vibes. I don't know if that was on purpose or just my no, interpretation of dude, it, but major the cover, Dio. The cover. Another yeah. friend of Vinny's, I call them my Brazilian mafia. He knows Marcelo Basco. And I was like, get the fuck out of here. The guy that does the Slayer covers, the yeah. Creator covers, Machine Head. Extreme metal. I don't do extreme metal. I love extreme metal. So I sent him that photo. And I, that photo was hysterical because um, my photographer was shooting it down by the Golden Gate Bridge on a really windy day, as you can tell. And I actually slipped and I slipped and I fell and I was like, fuck. And he shot that phenomenal photo and Marcelo really was attracted to it. And I said, do something, you know, I want a broken building. I want it metal. I want, I'm rising up, I'm coming back. And I wanted him to make it a little demonic, a little cartoonish. He nailed it. He nailed it, didn't he? That's amazing. Yeah, I think I even know the spot you're talking about. It's kind of like the typical um, place here. In the yeah, it's on the, Mar it's on the Mar uh, I think it's on the Marin side. Yeah, yep. it's where it's all flat. And I yeah. fell and I was like, because I didn't want to ruin those pants. <laughs> right. Ah, oh, the worst. I think Exodus had a band shoot there too in that same spot. Oh, I, I, they did. It. They did. That's exactly where it is. Yes. Yes. And then, yeah, you see the city behind them. It's killer. Yes. Yes. It's beautiful there. In so, the light, everything is perfect. Yeah. So nice. Yeah. Shadows is the third track on the album. Shadows again. Shadows again. It's kind of like the good and evil thing. I have always felt... Uh, I shadow people. I always believe that there's someone around. I think I see spirits. I, it's always a shadow. And sometimes they get the best of you. If you allow them to, they're always there to try to fuck with me. Oh, is there destroy me? Just like, you know, I'm aware of you. I, I know you're there. I got it. I got it. I got it. Nice. I love this. The, these titles are just next level off with your head. Is the Dude, my favorite. My favorite. That came at a period of time. Vinny sent me that near, 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 near. And it was like a time when I was checking out all the queens, like reading about Queen Victoria and Queen Catherine. And 
how they used to, and I actually had the wrong information. I thought that it was, although it was, the queens wouldn't necessarily order someone to be beheaded, but they would convince the king to behead someone. So they would take these jesters or whatever they would call them, have sex with them or use them and then kill them. And uh, it was actually from a personal experience I had with someone that freaking pissed me off. And, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I gave you wet pleasure today. Betrayal took off with your head. Yeah. The women will understand that. <laughs> Yowza. Um, the title track is next at the midway point of the record. We are the chosen. We are the chosen. We were working on that for a while. And Vinny said to me, do something we, we, we. Um, because I tend to write with a lot of words and he obviously says, simple, simple, simple. And We Are the Chosen came to me one night when I was reading the Dio, Dio book. Um, I just kind of fell asleep and We Are the Chosen. He, he, he just fell in love with that melody right away. He wanted to do an epic kind of Viking kind of anthem thing. I actually was just editing the video for that song. Oh, dude, it's so great. Um, so that is, and we decided kind of that was the name of the record, uh, We Are the Chosen. Um, in the Dio documentary and many times with me, he, he believed that we were messengers, that our job was messengers of metal. So when he passed, I just kind of had this thing in my head that I was one of the people that he passed the torch to, you know, that's why I came back. It was my job to be a messenger. That's all. That's killer. And we're the chosen, the metal family. You yeah. and me, we're the chosen, man. We're the underdogs. We're the freaking chosen people. Yeah. Right on. That's beautiful. I love that sentiment. And uh, yeah, I think about Ronnie a lot, the book, the movie, a lot Ugh. of stuff. Um, we got robbed of him and Lemmy and others. Yeah, he, 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 I know there's some people, that's when you say legend, there's some people in the world. Did you ever meet Ronnie? I shot Motorhead a bunch of times. I met Phil, but not Lemmy. No, Ronnie, did you ever oh, meet so, Ronnie? No, I never had the pleasure. I've seen, he, I saw a few know, I, a, I know this a few is going to sound corny, concert. dude, but he, there was just like this light around him. I mean, <laughs> it, he was just this magic and he was tiny. He came up to here. And I just, I didn't get it. He, he was just like from another planet. He, he, he made such an impression on me. So nice. we are the chosen. Yeah. Nice work. I, I did meet Wendy, which was amazing. She's insane. Wendy. Yeah. So cool, great. Cool lady. Yes. Yes. So great. I'm grateful for her. Tyrants is the next track on the record. Tyrants again, pissed off all the liars. My, in 2019, you know, you know, when the shit hits the fan, who your friends are, everybody's scared of like fucking roaches. All the liars I have seen is pretty self-explanatory. Being disappointed and uh, uh, you know trying to destroy me, never going to happen. And they're all, now I know who you all are. You're just ascending. Like I just saw the Exorcist, right? Ascending, all ascending. Yes. Nice. Probably my favorite track on the whole record is "Hallowed Ground," and that's the next. Oh, one. dude, that was written for Ronnie. We had conversations always, and. He just used to talk to me about continuing to go just to sing because I was good enough and, and just to uh, when you when inspiration came around to allow her in. So I think that Vinny and I just really hit it on that song. And um, it's kind of about us, too. We had just found the hallowed ground. I mean, we we just really found a special place. But that was written for Ronnie. Absolutely. Whenever I had the privilege to create, I feel it's my own corny thing. I need to give him something back because he's the only reason I sing metal. So I like to give something back to him. Amazing. I love hearing that. Dark Days is the eighth track on the record. Yes. Dark Days again, like we're talking about. I want to go back to the magical time before everything was black and white to like when the Indians saw the fog coming over and they thought it was a god, a magic. You know, I, I just want to go back there, back there to mythology and witchcraft and living off the earth and that kind of stuff. It was a simpler time. Maybe if people were happier. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And people believed in magic. They thought magic was what. And then, you know, then science came along. Yeah. In, in, in the, you know, the dark days, it was kind of said as a cliche thing. I mean, I want to go. People say, oh, the dark days. I want to be there. I want to go back there. Right on. Uh, who rules the world is a very good question. And is the is a lyric video for that one. So I imagine it's an important track to you. That was the hardest track for us to write. We were still writing that song in the studio and Vinny and I were both the same way. We wanted to be prepared note by note, by melody by melody. We finished it in the studio. And you know, for me, it's actually a bit of narcissism. I'm not really narcissistic at heart, but I should rule the fucking world. Who I should rule it. And it came out because of all the political agendas um, our friend Walter did the uh, did that funny video, but yeah, it's not, I should rule the world, uh, and you know the black nighty light. I mean, it's kind of a throwback to Chastain with the harmonies. 
and the black knight. Yeah, I, I should rule the world. I want it. It should belong to me. Might as well. You know what? Let's go. <laughs> uh, I'm down because you know what's what we've had hasn't been working. So. Anywho, uh, the final track on the record is The Glory in the End. Glory in the End. Um, you know, I, I again, 2019, I had my heart broken musically. And it's about, I'm sh you know, there's people that want to latch on. They don't want to do the work, but they want to be there in the end. You'll never be. You'll never see the glory in the end. That's what it was. About. Just people, if you're going to stick by me, you stick by me through the good and the bad. So just a glory days. Very few people deserve to be with me. And that's what that's about. That's important. You have to know your worth and uh, you have to make sure that you, you know, even if you're the star in your own universe, anybody that's supporting you. They yeah. Gotta be, they got to be true or. You, you know, know I, I've really you know. learned a lot being, you know, I know people freak out about getting older, but oh my God, I think I have really finally found my hello ground. It's a really good feeling. Awesome. Good I'd feeling. love to hear that. That's amazing. Just out of curiosity, I just have a few more questions left for okay. you, but just out of curiosity, uh, do you sing every day and how do you keep your instrument in shape? <laughs> I know I should have this big long. I was just thinking today, should I have to start singing again? I'm so blessed from the powers that be um, muscle memory, but um, I've been telling this to everybody. I read an article one time about Frank Sinatra, who's a huge smoker drinker. I'm a, I'm a wino. He said five weeks before a tour, before a recording, before interviews, he just stopped. So I kind of go by that motto, but now that I don't really know what's going on, um, I've always done cardio. I spin, I run, I walk. I, I like drinking wine though, but I drink shitloads of water. And um, I try to sleep. Sleep is my biggest enemy. Sometimes I'll be on the road and I, I just have to like go in a closet for an hour and sleep. What I try to do is, um, do I do it every day? Absolutely not. I try to sing an hour, an hour to an hour and a half every night, just, just at this volume, like we are chosen. But do I do it religiously? No, but when I get a tour, oh, my friend. Yeah, I will, I will. Nice, did you ever get to see Sinatra, by the way? No, did you? I no, did. you're too, get I out did. of here. I, so one of my, uh, cl I'm sure everybody watching this on the channel is sick of this story, among my many. But I, I don't saw, know. Wait, tell me, tell me. I saw Frank Sinatra and Slayer in the same week in New York City, within three days of each other, which is nuts, right? So I went Where to Where was Frank Sinatra? Where Sinatra was at Radio City on like his oh. one of his last tours. This was ninety one, so uh -huh. it's Slayer on the Seasons in the Abyss tour, <laughs> and it's Sinatra on his next to last tour. I went with my mother. We sat in like the back back row of Radio City, and he was insanely great. He played for two hours. <laughs> And he was flawless and the band was great. You know, he's older, but like he carried everything. Yes, and you know, it's funny. Yeah. Sometimes those crooners, you kind of don't think, I've been, oh, they don't sing. I've been listening to him lately. Mother of God. Yeah. Yeah, he I, was great. Oh, what a treat that would have been. Yeah, it was insane. And then Slayer at Roseland. So like, which is also no longer there. <laughs> you know, but like, yeah, that Slayer. reminds me, that reminds me, my first band, Reed Girl, the girl band that I was in when I first came to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And we were, CBS was courting us and I got, I was opening for Wasp and Megadeth. And before we fell apart, we were supposed to open for Slayer. And I can remember going, we're going to get our asses kicked. <laughs> I was going, ah, oh, I'm not going to open for Tom, you know, well, wow, I love that story. Um, yeah, it's a, it was fun. Uh, Sinatra, I love Sinatra. I know he hated like rock music. He hated, uh, kind of hated Elvis and the oh, Beatles because oh, he was jealous. You know, he of was because jazz yeah. music was popular music. It wasn't just jazz. And he, he was an incredible singer. I Did suppose. he sing for what? Like an hour? Hour or two? Oh, two two hours it was it was a long show Shirley MacLaine opened and she was fun but oh, like wow. I don't think wow. she tried to tell jokes and the audience was like a lot older I was like definitely the youngest person in <laughs> 1991 in this audience so that's a <laughs> they're going who is this white guy I was wow, a young, I was the saying, youngest person yeah. there she she was fine she sang and danced and then he came out and he played basically with except for like a 10 minute break uh -huh. he played for two Just and like, a half hours yeah and he wow. sang the whole time Wow. I know there's something else I've learned about as I've gotten older too, because I'm, I'm such a middlehead. <laughs> but I listen to all kinds of stuff and you really learn. I was you know, ag you, aggression yeah. is different. Aggression is different in everybody, you know. It's right. What wow. are your other uh, favorite genres or artists, if you don't mind sharing? No, I, I love like I love Gaga. I freaking love Gaga. Um, I actually listened to Taylor Swift, how she can write a freaking song. I listen to pop music. Girl, you got that yummy a Bieber. <laughs> I want to do a song with Beaver so bad. And um, I'm a huge fan of extreme metal. I was kind of late to the game. Um, Courtney from Spirit Box. Oh my God, she's my girl crush. Ginger, arch enemy. I recently heard, do you say, is her name Elisa? Elisa? 
Alyssa from Alyssa, Watch Enemy. Yeah, I recently Alisa. saw her on YouTube singing freaking Dio tunes. Her range of her voice from Cookie Monster. I, she is freaking amazing. I'm so proud of that woman, Lamb of God, how he can be so intense and still pronunciate. I hear every freaking word he says. But, you know, I'm always into the uh, traditional. I listen to Maiden. Um, I love Pantera. I was late to the Pantera game, Dio, Sabbath. I, I think I just I just love what's happening. But I do listen to pop music. Um, I think their sense of melody and timing and phrasing is really um, I really learned a lot from it. And like I said, Vinny listens to all that stuff. It's insane. All that, awesome. you know, like I said, if I, no disrespect, but if I heard one more Vixen song, I was like, can we Vixen and kiss? <laughs> but it's all worthy. You know, it, it's so hard to do. I'm such a fan of everybody, everybody that does it. And I've actually been listening to early Doro lately. Um, the Warlock I, stuff is actually, untouchable. Warlock. I, untouchable. You know, we, we met each other a lot back in the day, but I don't think, you know, there wasn't social media. In the Chains of Love, Chess and the songs Chains of Love, Shelby said, oh, I love that song. And David and I would be like, do it, do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I and I don't know, I've been listening to actually her later stuff is what I meant to say. Her sound, um, I don't know who produces those records, but her sound, the sound of those records is exquisite. So I guess my point is I am a metal head, but I'm really trying to expand stuff. I've been listening to Tom Jones lately. My mother was a huge Tom Jones person. Brazil, a uh, Vinny's father listened to the Beatles 24 seven. So I'm starting to, um, I think now that I want to really write songs, I want to grab stuff, you know, I want to hear what other people do. Nice work. I appreciate that. Leather Leon, man, what a pleasure to meet you and talk to you today about this new record. Uh, hopefully you. I will bump into you in person around town at a show. I know Wasp is coming here in a few weeks. Um, oh, I know. Where are they playing, dude? At the, um, uh, the, Reg the Regency? Either Regency or Great American. I don't are you gonna? Are you going to go? Are you going to be I'm there? probably going to go, yeah. I love I'll, I'll yeah, I love I'll I'll I love Armored Saint and Wasp, so I'm I'm pumped for that tour. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. We just I'll, I'll look for you. I'll definitely be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll say hi and uh, give you a crisp high five and a and a horns. Yes. But you're wonderful. Cool. Thanks for supporting Ghost Cult. Thank you for putting out this record and just Thank keep you. up. Keep I love all the positivity and and the energy. It's terrific. Thank you so much. Thank you, and I, I'm going to see you, at Wasp. I'm going to come looking for you. I'm going to be dude. I'll look for you.